Today we're going to talk about Helm 3 secret management. We're going to use the Helm secrets plugin to encrypt and decrypt secrets. By the end of this video, you will be able to encrypt secrets such as a password, store it in publicly accessible Git repository, and decrypt during the installation of the Helm chart. Let's get started. You can follow along and you can find instructions on devopsbyexample.io and code will be available in GitHub repository. Let's get started by installing the secrets plugin. In order to do that, we need to run Helm plugin install. Right plugin is installed. Now let's try to find if it's in a working condition. Let's run help. We can see that it's not quite there yet. So we need to, at least on Mac, we need to install some additional libraries. And I'm going to install uh, using the homebrew. That's the package manager for the Mac. I'm going to install GNU get opt. And let's run brew install gnu get opt. All right. Now let's try again get help. All right. So now we can actually access the secrets plugin and you can see all available commands. You can encrypt, decrypt secrets, and you can view the secrets. And uh, those install template, those are the wrappers for the Helm that actually decrypt the secrets before install in the Helm chart. In this video, I'm going to be using uh, GPG to create key pair, public and private key. And then we're going to use the public key to encrypt the, uh, the secret, such as a password. And then we're going to be able to store it in Git. And Helm will be able to decrypt it and install using the private key. And uh, it's not only the GPG supported. Uh, there are multiple different backends that you can use. For example, if you're on AWS, you can use instead of a GPG, you can use AWS Key Management Service, KMS. So you have some options. But for this tutorial, I will be using uh, GPG and uh, generate those secrets locally. All right, let's install GPG using the Homebrew again. Now it, it's installed. Now let's check if you have any keys already installed. And we can see that we don't have anything yet. So the first, the starting point is to generate key pair, public and private key. And in order to do that, we need to run gpg gen key. We have to follow this instruction. So let's enter my name, Anton, email address. And let's uh, type OK. And you also need to enter the passphrase to uh, secure your key. All right, the key pair was generated. Let's run now list keys and we can see that now I have the single key and this is the fingerprint that we're going to be using when we're going to encrypt the secret. So the next step is to create the secret, right? And by default, when you are installing that uh, Helm secret plugin, it will also install SOPS. This is the tool that was developed by Mozilla and you can find it in GitHub repository Mozilla SOPS. And we're going to be using this uh, tool to create a secret. And in order to create a secret, we need to provide a fingerprint here, SOPS-P fingerprint, and then secrets.yaml. And uh, this secret file has to follow a certain naming convention. Secrets must be present in that file. Let's create the secret. And you can see that it generated some uh, placeholder. So we're going to delete everything and we're going to create the secret. The key will be the password and the secret will be uh, secret123. Let's save it. All right, so it's saying that the GPG will be depreciated soon, as I mentioned before, so you can use different backends to encrypt your secrets. Now let's try to decrypt that secret with the Helm plugin. And we need to run Helm secrets view and then the file. And let's try it. Let's enter our passphrase. And we can see that the, it was able to decrypt. And sometimes you may get error. So uh, it's not going to be able to decrypt. And if that happens, try to create GPG TTY and then export this and run secrets view again. So this should help. Now let's generate the Helm chart. So here we uh, generated the Helm chart app and here we have the secret and that's how it's going to look like. 
So this is the key and password. And this file can be safely uh, stored in Git repository. And here we just generated the Helm chart. Now let's create secrets um, template. And we're gonna define the secret itself. So it's gonna be the kind secret and the name uh, will be credentials. And then we're gonna reference the app itself. And this has to match password and this key has to match. And also let's create the environment variable inside the pod itself and the pod will be able to reference that the password. Under deployment, let's create environment. We're gonna call it my password and it will reference the secret. Uh, this comes from the secret credentials, the name and the password key comes from the key itself. Now, finally, let's install the Helm chart and we're gonna be using the wrapper, um, the, that secrets plugin wrapper to install the chart. It will decrypt the secret before installing it. So we're gonna run Helm secrets install. Then it's gonna be release name, uh, location of the chart, default namespace, and uh, this location of the uh, additional files in, in our case is gonna be the secret and this secret will be referenced. Let's install it. All right, now let's run Helm LS. And we can see that the chart was installed. And we also uh, can access the secret that was uh, decrypted with the plugin. So we can run kubectl get secret credentials and I'll put in YAML and we can see that we have the our secret in base64 encoding so this is not encryption and to verify we can just copy and paste this and type echo and then base64-d and it will uh, and decode your secret also you can run print environments and verify that the secret the password is available for your application you can run kubectl exec then the name of the port and then you can run the print environment command and you can see that the password environment variable is available for that particular port so in your logic you can use this environment variable in order to access this secret also, please like this video, it really helps. And if you like this video, uh, you can uh, watch another my video about Helm tutorial where I explain the Helm structure and we will use it and install it in our Kubernetes cluster. Thanks for watching, bye.